it's windy out here. Anyways, guys, quick little note. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. And turn on the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos and get updated as they come out. My Instagram is at WindyVoot if you need to contact me for any reason. So, yeah. So, the reason it helps me so much if you subscribe is because it's my dream to represent all of you as a G-Ambassador. Goodbye for now. Here, back with another video, and I just realized I barely even pronounced that, so let's try that again. Hi, peeps, Wendy Woods here, back with another video, and today. Ow, I just. You may have. And uh, that is because I've been really vibing to Roblox lately, and no, don't worry, don't freak out, I'm not changing to a Roblox channel. I just made that intro, and I liked it, and I'm still an Animal Jam channel, but. I'm going to be making a few Roblox videos that I feel would be helpful because they just sound really fun to make and I don't want to lose the videos making Spark from Burnout. So I just want to try something new and you don't have to watch those videos if you don't want to, but I'm still going to upload Animal Jam videos the same and um, yeah. Moving on to the actual video, I have a lot of buddies and they're like getting scammed every and I ask them why and like... They're kind of obvious scams, and I feel badly, but there are also some unobvious scams that can be pretty, pretty deceiving. So, I've actually only gotten scammed twice playing Animal Jam. Find some wood to knock on because I don't want to get jinxed. So, a lot of the scams are so typical, most people don't even believe them, but I'm going to address those just because some people actually do believe them. So, the way it plays out is, like, there's a typical one, Hey, best trade, when's my outfit? But honestly, that's not even like the greatest scam because I feel like people would still lose anyways if they're not rare enough, so I guess it really doesn't really work. But uh, but yeah, they're just like, hey, come to my den for a giveaway. Okay, the best trade for my trash item, when's this big item? Yeah, it's, it's something like that. But like, actually, one of the most successful scams I've ever seen it's kind of hard to believe that it would be so successful, but when you're in that situation, it's kind of easy to forget that it's a scam. And please don't kill me, but when I was little, what I did, I still feel horribly for this. I wanted to see if people would actually believe this scam because I didn't think that it was possible. I thought everybody would be like, ha, 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 noob, don't scam me, bye-bye. And I actually, uh, they gave me their items and I gave them back. But I still felt really badly. So what the scam is, is somebody is like, hey, give away in my den. And then uh, they wait a second and then they bring in a spare into the den. And the spare starts saying things like, oh, ah, this is probably a scam. I'm really scared. And then like conversing with the other people. And pretending that it's a scam, like they really think it's a scam to act, like making sure that like people don't think that that's a spare. And then they start saying stuff like, oh, I have a YouTube channel. I think, I don't really care about my items. This is really scary, but should I test to see if there's a scammer? Because I feel like this is kind of fishy. So if they say some fishy stuff, I'm going to test to see if they're a scammer or not. And so then the person splits the items evenly among the spare account and the other account that is doing that is hosting the scam and so then what happens is um when the person gets there the spare uh buddies the people there and starts jamagramming them stuff like oh you know what? i'm going to experiment wish me luck i'm really scared i'm going to treat them my item back to see if they're a scammer and so the person will be like i'm not quite sure how to do this uh this giveaway because I need to make it fair for everybody. And so then the sparrow will be like, hmm, this seems like a scam. So I'm gonna test to see if this is really a scam. You have to give my item back. And so I'm gonna give my item to you and you give it back to prove that this is not a scam. And so then the sparrow goes into the trade and then the spare trades the beta to the regular account. You give yourself the rare back with another rare, but like you have to act like, 
And then what happens is the spirit's like, oh my gosh, gasp, give me the item back. And then they give the item back with another item. Then everybody's like, gasp, wait, gasp, I can get rare. And then they all, sometimes they just immediately be like, will you, will you give me a rare? Can we give you a Zeno? <laughs> give it back. And then, and then you get what happens after that. Uh, they get the items, and then, uh, the scammer locks the den. But that is the most common, like, scam that I see people fall for so much. Like, I ask my buddies, how did you get scammed? And they're like, the trust trade scam. And trust trading, of course, if you did not know that, is when people give an item, and then the other person has to give it back. And so that's basically the trust trade scam. Um... And another scam is really a sad one, but it's what happens with a lot of buddies, unfortunately. So somebody will go out and find a rare jammer, be kind to them, uh, or fake kindness, I guess, and try to be their friend. And then they become their best friend. They're like, hey, yo, let's trust trade. But the person will be on a spare account, and so their items won't be rare. And so they'll just trade the person with those items, and then the person will give them back. And they'll be like, okay, please, I trusted you. Now I'll trust me. Wait, wait. I yeah, wait. I trust you, now trust me, please. And then they'll have, like, the... And then the innocent person will trade them an item, and then the person will be like, ha, 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 bye. And it's just really sad when I see that all the time. And I'm like, why? It's such a tragedy. They have, like, videos of that on YouTube, and I'm like, bro, why are you even recording this? You little stinky. You little stink. Why? And actually, another way that I've seen people be scammed, which actually kind of doesn't make sense to me, but, um, I mean, it makes sense, the layout and the reasoning, but, like, I'll explain to you why it doesn't make sense to me after. And I've actually, people have tried to scam me like this two times, and one of them was, like, a complete idiot. Uh, <laughs> so, um, oh, okay. They'll go to uh, a jammer and be like, hey, do you have this unrare item? This is my dream item. I need it so badly. I will trade my mystical spiked collar and dragon wings for it. And then they're like, oh, gasp. I must trade for this item if they don't already have it. And then what confuses me is oftentimes, so wait, what the person will do, they'll have a spare uh, with the unrare item who has it. And so then they expect that you trade that spare to find it. But my buddy traded her freaking forest gauntlets for a trash item to trade for the other thing. I don't understand. I would have been like, who oh, gain and traded unrare item for unrare item. But I guess people trade beta items because they're like in such a rush because they don't want to lose that person with the good trade. So they trade like huge items for these unrare items and then they'd be like, I got the unrare item! No, give me the items! And the person would be like, sorry, somebody else just gave it to me. Bye bye, no. It's like, Ah, I've seen that one, and I'm like, oh, gosh. And um, the way that I actually got scammed the first time I got scammed, uh, what happened was that one, it was just, like, a basic thing. It was kind of like um, best trade wins. And so I'm like, if you give me these items, you'll give them back, right? And I'll get your outfit. And they're like, sure, yeah, you can totally trust me. And I was just like, okay. And then I got scammed, and I was seven playing Animal Jam on the toilet, crying in the middle of the night. Yeah, that was probably TMI. Another scam that I see a bit is um, when people, so it's kind of obvious sometimes that people do it poorly, but sometimes people can do it really, really, really well. And it works like every time when I see people on YouTube try to do it. And it's sad. And my buddies are all like, I got scammed this way. So, it's really concerning, but what happens is, you know, you got the, uh, the, the trade, uh, wait. Okay, what they do is they take a good item. So, let's say they want to trade a sunscreen bottle for something. Then, what they do is they take a bunch of not as good items and just, like, cover it up like, uh, this. And I can't really see because it's glitching out so much. But they have, like, multiple pages. Then they go back. Wait, it's glitching. Come on. Oh, no, my game broke. No! Why? But basically.
basically they just remove the first item and so that you can't see it and so you think you're getting the good trade and then they actually removed it while they were adding the other items but sometimes people just like completely spam the whole thing and it's like bro it's, it's so obvious but people still fall for it and <sighs> but another common scam is people take good items with the pet symbol on it and uh, make sure to hide the pet symbol, and so people are like, "Gasp! A good item!" And then they trade their great item for the lousy pet item. Ah! Oh, and of course, the try on scam. This one I'm not quite sure about because I see actually a lot of really good buddies. They're like chilling out together, and they're like, "Hey, that's my dream item. Can I try it on?" And the other person's like, "Sure!" And then they try it on. And they give it back, and they're happy friendship. And then I see these people, they're like, hey, can I try it on? And they're like, okay, I totally trust you, best friend. And then they try it on, and they're like, okay, bye. And I, I, I don't get it. It's so sad. But anyways, I just realized my dad was napping, and I just yelled. I feel really bad right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't make it too short, but those were the uh, biggest scams that I could think of that a lot of people fell for and did not know about. <coughs> Sorry, phlegm. Again, I have horrible allergies lately. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay awesome and jam on. Windy.